All right, guys, so I want to be careful again about doing this. I don't want anyone to feel bad. I don't want to, you know, cast disparagement on a game that I haven't played yet. You know how it is on here. I mean, if there's a game that I have played or am playing and I run into something I don't like, I'll let you know about that pretty quickly. But if I haven't really played it yet, then I don't really want to, you know, start screaming about it or anything like that. But uh, after the uh, game Baseball Classics that we talked about a couple days ago, um, after I spent some time looking through that old uh, forum thread from 2005, it's amazing, almost 20 years old, um, I came across a couple of interesting posts. I'm going to show you one of them here. Now, this is just a representation of uh, the post, the sort of post that we saw. Um, I'm not going to show you every single one. I've cut out the person's name. I don't even know if they're still alive or not. Remember, this is an 18-year-old thread. Uh, but here it says, guys, it's a fun game, baseball classics. What do you want? A game that comes out with replays that are exactly like real-life stats? For me, that's boring. I enjoy this game and highly recommend it because it's very easy because it's very easy to play and the stats are pretty realistic. Maybe not as much as Stratomatic, but so what? At least it's at least it's not like EA Sports game, right? And so uh, you know, you can probably understand from that alone that um, you know, this is kind of what the subject is here today, which is okay, so what do you think about that, right? Do you think that it's okay to have a game that is not exactly like real life? Is it okay to have a game with stats that are not that realistic? Is it boring if we have stats that come out exactly the same as they did in real life? Should there be sort of a fudge factor? Or should we be very, very doctrinaire about this and say, no, for this type of game, it has to be realistic. They have to come out as close to real life as possible. I mean, this is a really good question, right? Now, I don't want to talk too much about, oh, well, you know, does baseball classics today qualify as XYZ compared with this or compared with that? Because I haven't played it yet. I don't have any way to tell you if it is realistic or not, whatever we define realism as being. Right? The big question is, is there a little bit of leeway that we have for a game like this? For example, um, it's famous if you talk about somebody doing a 1961 replay and Roger Maris, you know, who had 61 home runs in real life, um, should have as much of a chance of hitting, I don't know, 70 home runs as he would have hitting like 52, right? If you had a replay, Maris had 52 home runs, came up short, Mantle beat him in the race, you would kind of feel a little bit disappointed, but you could see it happening if you knew what happened in real life. But if you have a replay and Maris hit 70 home runs, you're like, whoa, something's off, right? Something doesn't seem right, and then you're going to be asking, well, is there something wrong with the game engine? Is there something wrong with how I played? Maybe I should have actually used real-life lineups and not just thrown them together like some of us do. You know, um, that's one of those things that you think about, which is, so at what level does, is realism um, owned completely by the statistics? And also... Which statistics are there that we care about so much, right? In the context of this, this had to do with an argument about um, whether ratings on two specific sample cards were correct or not. I think that the case was made very, very strongly that the ratings were not accurate, but there is a question as to what context these cards were created for and whether it really matters or not that the ratings are not accurate in that sense. And so I kind of want to know what you think about this. I mean, you know, at, at some point in time, um, we have to make a different between the two. I would also argue that at some point in time, we have to choose between a realistic game and a game that's actually fun to play, right? It is true that if um, our games came out uh, the way that, um, you know, they came, or if they followed real life exactly, you and I would probably be very, very bored and wouldn't want to spend a whole bunch of time playing these games anymore because we could just sit down with the baseball encyclopedia or with the retro sheet or baseball reference and play through everything in our head. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is still a, a tool online that allows you to look at individual um, retro sheet accounts and watch the game play out in front of you, right? You can do that if you want, you know, is all sorts of stuff you can do to try to recreate the game of baseball. We could just sit around and watch uh, old uh, video broadcasts or listen to old radio broadcasts of baseball games all day long and not think even twice about it, you know? There's no reason for us to sit around and play all of this and go through all this work and do all these stats and engage in all these debates, right? If we really want to know what happened in real life, we could just look at what happened in real life and then we could be done with it, right? So at what point in time is it that important that everything is realistic? What actually does realism mean? And at uh, what point in time do we say, look, it's just a game, it's okay, it's okay if it's not 100% right, let's just go with it as it is because it's a game and because it's fun, right? Love to know what your thought, uh, thoughts are on this subject. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm honestly a little bit torn, right? I mean, if you haven't seen it before, you probably know this by now. I play a lot of Football Manager, which is um, the uh, soccer simulation game comes out of uh, Great Britain by Sports Interactive. And I'll tell you on there that 
there's a bunch of stuff that happens that's not really that realistic, right? So I'm managing an amateur team in American Samoa, right? Like, um, and we rose to the top like right away, right? I mean, I don't know if a real amateur team in American Samoa is going to have a seg- Segundo Volante playing in defensive midfield and a Mazala playing up in the, as a midfielder, right? In American Samoa, probably not, right? But at some point in time, I've had to take my realistic expectations and sort of put them to the side and say, I'd rather have fun with this and do something that's really interesting and maybe learn about players from a different country or learn about some different culture than be like, oh, no, we have to do everything exactly by the book and it has to be X, Y, Z, A, B, C, blah, 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 right? At some point in time, we do kind of have to loosen up and say, no, let's just see what happens, right? This will be fun. Maybe it's different than what we thought it was going to be. Whatever, let's have fun with it, right? I don't know. Do we do the same thing with baseball simulators or do we have to be very, very by the book? Anyway, I've rambled at you for long enough now and love to know what your comments are down below. Talk to you later. Bye.